podium with the bronze. Poland or Turkey, six minutes to decide. Yeah, Yashar has been very consistent with his high-level World Olympic finishes, was a bronze medalist in 2014 in Tashkent, silver medalist in 15 in Las Vegas, and, of course, the silver medalist in Rio de Janeiro at the Olympics in 16. So three straight years, and he's looking to start off this quad with another medal here at the Continentals. Baranowski will be trying to dismiss that reputation and make an impression of his own here. And not to be confused with the host of the popular Blood Round podcast in the United States. That's, that's no W there, in case you're wondering. Easily confused. <laughs> Believe it or not, somebody actually thought he was wrestling the qualifier last year. Now that would be Tom, not uh, Zbigniew. Zbigniew at the moment. He'll have been thinking about this match up and trying to prepare his tactics and strategy. The reality of it starts now. The adrenaline's flowing, both men making decisions here as they go head to head for this bronze medal. Just linking the fingers on the opposite side of the referee. Showing their experience. But not much of a showing so far on the scoreboard. We mentioned that power and intensity that they bring. Well, it will be punctuated by the referee's whistle. Halfway through this opening period, nothing much to report. But we know that can change in an instant. Well, you mentioned that Rio Olympic game silver medal. We both had the pleasure of being there. At your, at your first Olympics, quite an experience. That was my second, actually. Second first, Olympics. First was in London, beautiful city of London. I enjoyed my time in the UK, and I enjoyed my two trips to Rio last year. A little different perspective from uh, my time in Rio. And speaking of time, it's ticking away against Yashar. Potential for Baranowski to try and do something here. And this can change the whole dynamic of the match. No longer able to defend. Well, this first point could be crucial as we get into just about the last 30 seconds of this opening round here. And there's the one point for the shot clock from Bar Baranowski. will take the 1-0 lead. Now comes through, drives through, gets two, and... Uh, 3-0 lead, however, Yashar found himself trailing earlier in the tournament and uh, found that not to be a problem at all. Yep, a master of the comeback, Baranowski had to do it earlier than the day, taking advantage of the new rules. As we come into... The end of this opening period has been a more than useful one for the Pole. Three points in his favor. Man, we've seen Poland here at, at three weight classes today. It's a good point. Good point, well made. And it is three points on the board, which is why Selim Yashar, well, he's concerned about this man here. Spigniew Baranowski. Yeah, this, would be a, this would be a big win if he can hang if he can hang on to it. I mean, this is a guy that's never placed higher than 15th at the Europeans, and he's got a 3-0 lead on the Olympic silver medalist. I mean, well, we're about to see what it takes to be the top-level champions. European bronze medal at stake. Can Baranowski hang on? Will he go for even more scores? Or Yashar? Can he? Salvage this one to reclaim the bronze. We're about to find the ringside seats here in Novisad. Up close and personal as Yashar tries to shoot for that single leg. Good strength from Baranowski. Well, grappling and grappling here, looking for a little opportunity to throw your opponent off guard, change the angle of attack and shoot to score. But at the moment, Yashar is the man having to go on the aggressive. And it's potentially working here. Yeah, back on the shot clock. 
This time, Baranovsky is on the clock, but he's got a little bit of a wiggle room to worry about. He doesn't have to freak out. He doesn't have to force a whole lot of action. He could probably just chill out for a little bit, but even if he gives up the point, still got the lead, but he's under the attack. He's going to take that double into a single. Got to know where he's at on the mat now. This is where you don't want to be with a crafty veteran like this Char. Well, they're all tied up, and it is that single point. Could have been worse. Yeah, that could have been a bad position. This is where Baranovsky put his head underneath the ankle to prevent any type of leverage from Yashar going with a crotch lift or something along those lines to get some exposure. So locked it up, gave up the point on the shot clock in the process, but still 3-1 lead. For Baranovsky of Poland. Selim Yashar has to try and find something here. A minute and 30 or so left in this. He's got that single leg. Can he manage to convert it? Wonderful defense from Baranowski. Yeah, nice job getting his hips back and back up to his feet. It looked like he was going to score that. Good job of just clearing that ankle. Another good attack here by Yashar. Now you see Baranowski going to try to realize that his, his ankle is deep underneath. Wow. Driving in. Going to try to lock around the chest. Hard to say that's not two yet, but the head is still buried. Baranowski going to try to hang on here, and now he's going to have to... Is he going to bail out? Still not going to stop them. Now there's two from the judge. The referee still hasn't awarded anything. Now there's the two official. Whoa. Yep, I think you're right. The, the two points were added. Okay, they should leave the two. I think the chairman did agree. So yep. three, and three, and now criteria. All things equal now, John. Oh, last, last, point scored. last 30 seconds, last point scored this time. Now it's the criteria, because they both have twos. They both have a two, and they both have a one. Everything equal. Yes, Char with criteria. That's a type of simple mathematics that I like. Two plus one. Well, all roads lead to the bronze at the moment. Three points apiece. The third place at stake. And into the last ten seconds now. Yashar has pulled himself back. Can he pull him out? Push out point. White paddle. Wait to see what the judge says. And now they're going to review it. There is not going to be a challenge. It looks like there's going to be an official review. No, they white paddle it. Well, there was a white paddle and then a blue block thrown in. So we have a block. I don't know why the blue block came in. Should be the red block. <laughs> so Selim Yashar oh, telling his coach not to play the video. Yeah, because play. if he loses that challenge, he would lose the match. And here comes the red brick. So the coach getting caught up in the excitement here. Five seconds left for the bronze. Video replay. What will they be looking for here, Jason? Was he down on his knees when the attack was? When he goes out, you got to be. You can't be grounded when you go out of bounds. So, what you'll see is some wrestlers they get near the edge. They try to drop to their knees to make sure that they're not. You know, they're not going to be on their feet to give up the push out. So we'll see what the replay looks like. So he's down, but you see. They've already gone. I'm seeing the replay in the uh, in the arena here as we see the referees look at it. I get caught up looking at the replay over here on the big screen and realizing you folks at home don't get a shot of that. Sure, but both wrestlers were doing what you were doing as well, as was the chairman. The unsuccessful call makes it 4 3. Oh, it's so close. Time is out. Wow. Oh, oh, what a turnaround man. there. Selim Yashar, it looked all over for him. But he dragged up that experience and found a way to win. Baranowski, well, you said it would be a big one for Spigniew, but it wasn't just enough in the last wow. second there. I thought he, I, you know, I still think he might have had that push out, but again, they look at things a little differently than we do. I don't know. I think you're right. I don't know if we got a chance to see the replay of that push out. I know they did in the stadium, but immaterial. Well, the, the issue.